Hey, it's Ross. Today, I'll show you how our workload widget will help you schedule and allocate your business resources like never before. Let's dive in. We're running a landscaping business and manage the backend details solely out of Monday.com. The workload widget is perfect for managing employee hours and tracking wear and tear on our equipment. Let me show you how we can set up both with a board view and a dashboard widget. To get the most out of this feature, you'll want a people column, a date or timeline column, and a number or formula column. Okay, add the workload widget through the add menu here on any board. Thanks to this view, we can see the number of jobs a piece of equipment will be used on per week. Let's go into the settings to see how we set it up. First, we selected our date column as the time element here. Next, since we want to measure wear and tear on equipment, we'll pick the Equipment Plan drop-down column as the resource type. But just know it can be used to manage other resources like people, statuses, and groups of items. For effort and capacity, we'll use the Count Items option to simply tally the number of jobs a specific piece of equipment is used on. And we'll set the capacity to four jobs per week to prevent overuse. This effort option is better suited when measuring a unit such as hours, say for an employee's schedule. The color by settings allows you to color code the items on the widget. For ours, we'll elect to color by status of the job, whether it's done, being worked on, or delayed due to weather. For other use cases, you can change the fiscal year here and even remove groups from being included. All right, with our widget configured, we can now see the number of jobs each piece of equipment is on per week. Each blue circle will fill in as they take on work throughout the week. Once they reach their capacity, you'll see a white check mark. Red circles indicate use over capacity. But thanks to the dynamic nature of the widget, I can click into any job and make adjustments on the fly. There we go, looking good. Let's say I've got two teams that work the different jobs every week, and I wanna see their workload in one combined view. The workload widget has us covered. Here on our dashboard, you'll see we've added our work orders and billing boards to see high-level info for our business. Adding the workload widget to any dashboard is just a couple clicks away. In this case, we want to track employee capacity across multiple boards. I've added a people column to each board where I've assigned landscapers and a numbers column to track the job's hours. We've selected the people column here and we'll track the effort based on job hours on a sum basis to ensure that no one is going over their 40 hours a week. If we wanted to get even more granular, maybe for a part-time employee, we can adjust their capacity from here too. Looks like Marcus is overscheduled this week, so we'll get someone else to work one of his shifts. Much better. As you can see, thanks to the workload widget, you can effectively manage the resources that matter most to you. That's it for now.